<laughs> the Western Conference Finals tip off tonight as the Golden State Warriors take on not the San Antonio Spurs, but the Oklahoma City Thunder. Oh, now keep in mind oh. that Kevin Durant and company lost all three meetings against the Dubs this season. I'm not rubbing it in, but there's a lot of people thought that the Spurs were going to be in. Yeah, versus everybody the Dubs. did except them. Let, let her read. A, let us finish the copy. <laughs> Come on, Skip. I was chiming. I was just harmonizing with her. He's aggressive today. He's pounding the tables because you're here. So listen, the question we pose. 67 wins that don't make it past the second round. Tables hurting. So listen, the question we pose, who is going to win this series? Skip. I will be surprised if the Oklahoma City Thunder win a single game of this Stop, series. Stop, Skip. I, I gave them on Friday. I'm going to give them one game because inevitably Steph and Clay will have one of those nights, one of those cold nights. They'll combine three of 17 from three, and that will be the one game in Oklahoma City the Thunder will steal. I'll give them one but it'll be over in five games. Look, what just happened was my Spurs lost that series to Oklahoma City more than the Thunder won that series. Thunder won. Okay. I, I'm, I'm here to remind you, going into the sixth game at Oklahoma City, my Spurs were the Vegas odds makers' favorites by two and a half. They opened as a two and a half point favorite to win that game. It got bet down to a point and a half, but they were favored to win game six. They were up. 19 to 13 with four minutes left in the first quarter and from that point all the way until halftime they had the coldest playoff stretch of their history their five ring playoff history i still haven't recovered from it i thought about it all weekend i can't explain it they shot five for 28 in that stretch and at least half of the 28 were uncontested shots that just did not fall for reasons I don't know. I can give you all my theories, my conspiracy theories. I, 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 don't, I don't know what except to tell you that in the first five games of that series, my Spurs in every fourth quarter were in position to win the basketball game, and they lost three of those five. I can't defend them except to say that I also cannot commend Oklahoma City for them being a threat to the Golden State Warriors. I watched carefully all three of those regular season games against Golden State. In the fourth quarter, were OKC in position to yes, win those games? Yes, they were, and they oh. flew apart it, down the stretch of every game just the way they did fairly routinely in the fourth quarter. And unfortunately, my Spurs out thundered the thunder or out blundered the thunder in those games in this series because my Spurs were the team that fell apart down the stretch of those, those games. So in this case, do you realize the Thunder averaged 18 turnovers a game in the three against Golden State? 18 a game? You're, you're going to lose those games. It's way too many because Russell Westbrook tries to do too much against those two guards. Those two guards can really defend, and they really defend Russell Westbrook, who shot 17% from three in those three games. He's a high-volume three-point shooter who's not a very good three-point shooter. And if he keeps trying to do that, they will lose. Again, Enos Cantor and Steven Adams had breakout series, coming against, out against parties against, against my Spurs and no, Tim who? Duncan, aging oh. Tim Duncan, as you say, and LaMarcus Aldridge, who found the stage way too big for him because he still has too much trailblazer in him. Still Stop, too much. Skip. Yes, he does. He does. Stop. He doesn't have enough spur. He hasn't earned his spurs yet. And so those two guys got punked by the other two guys for Oklahoma City. But in this case, this will not happen because those two guys are going to become liabilities on defense because they will not be able to defend the array of shooters starting with Draymond Green, who will force them out of the paint and bring them outside. I'm sorry. The Golden State Warriors are too deep. They're, they're, they're too versatile. They do too many things. And finally, Steph Curry is just too great for the Oklahoma City Thunder. He averaged 35 a game against them in that one game, the middle game. He, he scored. Uh, he outscored them down the stretch. I think it was 11 to 10 in the last four minutes. It was Steph over the Thunder in the last four minutes of that game. I look for that to happen regularly. It's going to have to be, it's going to have to be a cold shooting night for Golden State for Oklahoma City to win a single game off them. Skip, my, my, my concern for Golden, uh, for OKC is can they force Steph Curry to guard? Because I think they're going to put him on Roberson who's a spot-up shooter, he won't have to exert a whole lot of energy. They'll put Clay Thompson... Spot-up shooter? You better put quotes around shooter. No, no I'm just saying that's yeah. what, that's of what he, he does. he made three in game six against my <laughs> yeah. Spurs, you know, like the game of his life. They'll, prop, they'll yeah. put Clay on Westbrook, and they'll put Harrison Barnes on, on Durant, and that'll lock uh, Steph to conserve his energy. 
Um, I can see Golden State winning this series in 4-2. In um, because if you, if you get a push, you just say Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Durant, and Westbrook, they push. Okay, now we got to go to the third best player. Although Dr I can make a case that Draymond is the second best player. OKC has nobody that's comparable. Abaka comes and goes. Uh, they don't run any plays for Adams. He's a guy that's going to, he'll rebound, get some putbacks, you know, rest book or penetrate the lane. He'll dish off, he'll get a dunk. But they don't run plays for him. Cantor, he can post up. He got distance beyond the three-point line. He can run some plays. But here's the thing. When they go small ball and they bring Iguodala in and they take Bogut out, and so now Iguodala's playing four, Draymond's playing five, now what do you do? And I think that's going to be the problem they're going to have. Um, I love Kevin Durant. He's been unbelievable against, against Golden State. Um, I like, you know what I like most? I like what Russell Westbrook said. He says, guys, I got to do a better job of not shooting as much, getting my teammates involved. Okay, but that was after game three that they lost, so they were down two games to one. I okay. see better than I hear. I heard what he said, but moving forward, I wanted to see if he was going to follow through with he what did. he said. And he did. He did. He knows he can't be a volume three-point shooter. Mm -hmm. But somehow they're going to have to make Steph Curry work. They can't let him relax on defense. There's a reason why he's able to put up 25, 26 shots and, and do what he did in the fourth quarter, uh, 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 Skip, is because he's resting. With, they're going to have to force him. Maybe you have to post, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, Robeson's post, post game. But he might have well, to pull but, Steph Curry up and okay, make it work. They can play things. waiters in place of Robertson, and they, they lose some defense. But, exactly. But, but they, they played them together. They played Westbrook and, and waiters together some. Yeah. Well, <sighs> waiters played good in that series. He did. He played, he played really well. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's the thing. Can he, can he get consistency? That was always his problem. He's a, he's a pretty good player. But the consistency is where he struggles. Um, I'm going to take Golden State um, uh, and, and, and four to two. But it's going to be a lot closer. I They're going to make you sweat. more bullish on the Thunder than that. I, I, I am, mm. but it's the fourth quarter that scares me because mm. they had a 26-point lead against the Spurs, and the Spurs whittled it down to 12 with no shooters. They got guys that can shoot from 30 feet and beyond. It's been an issue for them all season. Yeah, yeah, so 4-2. Okay. How about you? I got it in five, right. and, and I'm going to be surprised if it goes five. Mm. And you ought I, to be shaming yourself. Well, why? I, I mean, you made the same case I made. I think you're, you're wavering on your six. No, 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 no. It's, it's going six. from seven to six. It's going six. It's going six games. Well, it's I'm, going I'm six. just one short of you. I'm five, so. KD, I got you. Okay. <laughs> well, I got him, too. I, no, listen, you don't. I no, gave you him don't. props. I did. No. I gave him props. Russ. Trust me on this. Hey, Russ. Hey, trust I got, me I got Russ. I got Russ. As long as he don't show up in any more cutoff sweatshirts, I got Russ. With okay. That, I, there's I, no guarantee on that one. We can listen, expect that. I, I gave Kevin big props on the show on Friday. He was sensational. He went superstar on my Spurs, especially in game six. But the whole series, he was the best player on the floor. He has been the best player against Golden State on the floor in yeah. all three games. Yes, yes, yes. He was at least as good as Steph. His, his points are right. I think he averaged 36, I think it was 36 versus 35. Mm -hmm. So I can make a case he'll be even better than Steph in, in, in all around ways. But here's but, the thing, though. But you also, uh, uh, Clay Thompson can go get you 30. Westbrook can get you 30. But Draymond can get you 25. Hey, he can get you 25, you know, 12, and 6. Any given night, Iggy can get you 20. Right. He will. And, and that's the thing. He's only the MVP of the finals. The bench. Mm -hmm. you, if you really think about it, they only play like two guys off the bench. Hey, Sean Livingston is a monster. No, I'm I mean, OKC. He's, he's hard to guard. Who OKC bring off the witch? Waiters and Cantor. Those are the only two guys. They, they play, they're, they're seven deep. Randy Foy comes in and makes Foy it. Foy occasionally. And, yeah. But they go in nine, ten deep. Yep. Everybody talks about the Warriors' depth, right? Well, well we're, we're going to talk more about them later. Can we? Are, are we? Are we done with the Spurs now? We're finished and we're done. Oh with no, no, the Spurs. no! We're not done with the Spurs because we're going to talk about them later. But they are done. Why are we talking? They're not even the playoffs. Because Skip Cause is you here. Can't we got. Stop talking about them. And Am he I can't right? stop thinking about them, that so we're going to talk about them. That is correct. But we them will and their stay. Costume party. I got a big <laughs> issue with the costume party. Only, only you would have a problem with the costume party. Well, Who doesn't love costumes? They had all six of costumes for game six. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, we're going to say in the NBA, last year it came down to Seth Curry and the Warriors versus LeBron James and the Cavs. The Warriors were essentially unstoppable. Ooh. Will we see the same storyline this year, or will LeBron be able to change that headline, maybe walk away with the title? I can't wait for this. Mm. Yeah.